It swings and drives it. Way back. Pike gets destroyed by Ramel Pratt. Shot, drop, step, turn around. Jumper to Scott Scott. Throws it down with a left hand slam. Kept alive by Lannister, tips it ahead to Farrakhan. He's going to throw it down with a one-hand jam! Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO, the Virginia Athletics Foundation, the Virginia Lottery, and by UVA Health Systems. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly... A guy like Danny Holton comes out there and has the ability to take control of a game every time he steps on the field. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Ben Cole from the men's golf team. We have a great show for you today, starting with our play of the week. On the quick restart for Virginia with 52 seconds to go in OT. Stanley still with it. Next goal win. Stanley's defender falls down on top. Fires! Dagger! I just knew uh, it was getting kind of down to the end of the quarter and overtime. I knew it was a good time to test the waters. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't really know where I was going. I was just kind of hoping something good would happen. and. Uh, you know, roughly enough, he got my defender off the footing and uh, I was able to flip him for the goal. Virginia wins! Stay tuned, Virginia game highlights are coming up next. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back to the show. Our baseball team is ranked number one in the country thanks to great hitting and pitching. They hosted Radford before heading to Georgia Tech for a big weekend series. Do pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. If Will Roberts doesn't go out and pitch like he did tonight, uh, just like last week, you know, we may not win the ball game. Uh, you know, we, we left 15 runners on base tonight. Uh, that says a lot that we, we got hits and put ourselves in a position to score more, but we just didn't get the big key uh, clutch hits. But, you know, th that's baseball. Here's the 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Here's the payoff pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Big fist pump from Will Roberts, his fifth K. I haven't put anybody on base, I've made him earn it. And I mean, we've played great defense. Like tonight, there's been, there was a bunch of plays in the outfield that we made, especially Dave Coleman on that uh, on that fly ball, to throw him out at home and Kenny to stay in there. That was definitely huge for us, that was a game changer. David Coleman coming up with the play, he'll fire home, here's the play at the plate. And he has the favor. Here's the 2-0. It is ripped to right field and finding a gap in right center. Coming on home to score is King. Charging towards second is Greg Nanny. He wants more. Round second. Coming into third. Sliding in safe without a throw. Reed Greg Nanny with a triple. And it's an RBI to make the score 2 0 Hoos. Find Rocks. Fires. That's a called strike three. Wahoos win. Put it in the books. This is swung on and missed, and there's another strikeout for Olsen. Next pitch, reach for, foul tipped and caught behind the plate. It's strike three. Everything uh, started with the fastball and then kind of went to the changeup and slider, uh, you know, depending on the count and depending on the hitter. I'll tell you more about that in a moment as the 2-2 is swung on and missed on an off-speed pitch. It's strike three, and Thomas is down. 
one two comes inside for a strike call and that's going to do it as Matt Hyde is frozen up at the plate. Here's the two two as Holson kicks and fires. This pitch is going to be taken for a call strike three. Danny Holson putting them down in order as he strikes out the side. Obviously he's got a good firm fastball that he can locate and you know Georgia Tech's got a good offensive ball club so he was mixing in his change up in there quite a bit uh, getting him off stride so he can come back with his fastball and you know he did a great job. Here's the 1 0 pitch. This one swung on, lifted high in the air, deep to right field, backpedaling toward the warning track. That ball is gone! A three run home run for David Coleman, his second of the season, and Virginia has its first lead of the night. That's what a good senior leader does that gets his opportunity. He had the big home run tonight uh, that put us on top, and he made some tremendous defensive plays out there also. Here's the 2-0. This one's chopped high into the ground. Backing up his worm, and he's going to throw to get the lead man at second for one. On the first call at two. No matter what the score is, if we're up or down, I know our teammates are going to fix up no matter what. It's very good to have that you know, in the back of your mind. Here's the pitch. This one swung on. A chopper up the middle. It's going to be gloved behind the bag at second by the shortstop. Taylor throws to first in time, and that's going to do it. <laughs> On Saturday, our men's lacrosse team took on another big ACC rival when the Tar Heels came to Clockner Stadium. Let's check out the highlights. Slings to the left side, left-handed shot, saved by Adam Gittleman. Mel Bratton playing catch with his brother Shamel, left alone, fires the 15 and buries it. The freshman in top of the box, fires and a stick save made by Adam Gittleman, shoulder high. Uh, we, uh, you know, we came out and played uh, played in the zone a lot of the time, and uh, what we were hoping is that we'd be able to give Adam a chance to see the ball a little bit. Uh, it meant we had to have some stops, and uh, I thought early in the game when we were kind of feeling our way a little bit, not having done a lot of this, uh, it was Adam who kind of kept us in. He had some uh, big stops early. I thought we got a little bit of confidence from him defensively, and uh, you know we were able to uh, you know kind of kind of kind of parlay that through the rest of the game. This week of practice, I I got an extra time and. You know, worked on my game a little bit, and I think that carried into today, and I thought that really helped. Beast to Holman, rotated left side, Hutchins fires low, and did it go in or not? No goal. Adam no goal. Gittleman damn it in the crease. Steel Stanwick at the top of the square, feeds on top, Buckley turns, fires, and scores. Set off nicely by McComas. Feeds it out top to Colin Briggs, fires, and scores. A big time rip from Colin Briggs, and Virginia leads by two. Colin's having a great season, uh, you know, and he, um, He's, uh, he's just got the touch right now, and uh, so he's somebody that we're trying to find ways to get him the ball in, uh, in key situations. And, you know, not only is he finishing some shots on his own, but he's forcing people to, to slide to him, and then he's, he's moving the ball. So he's just uh, he's playing at the top of his game right now. Yeah. Colin Briggs with a split dodge to the right side, gives it to Ramel. Rips it through! <laughs> Stick on him, O'Reilly with the dodge, beats Colin Briggs, turns, fires! Patrick for Colin Briggs. Last break for the Wahoos. Ramel stepping towards the cage, frees the left hand. It's there for Ramel. A loss here doesn't, you know, devastate our season. Uh, but uh, confidence is a precious commodity for college kids and for coaches too. And uh, you know, we have some guys that have never had two losses in a row in their career here. And uh, you know, so we were reeling a little bit, and uh, it was important that we get a good result today. And we're tied at ten. Hutchins stepping forward, pulls the stick back now to Foster. Rotated right side, a shot saved by Malpris. Malpris, the long stick, caught it in the pocket of his stick, and Virginia's got it going left to right on the clear. 52 seconds to go in OT. Stanwick still with it. Next goal wins. Stanwick's defender falls down on top. Fires! Dagger! Um, you know, I just knew uh, it was getting kind of down to the end of the quarter, and over time, knew it was a good time to test the waters. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't really know where I was going. I was just kind of hoping something good would happen. And, uh, you know, luckily enough, they got my defender lost his footing and uh, I was able to slip him for the goal. The real players, the big, the big players in the big moments make the big plays. And, uh, you know, him knowing that, uh, you know, it was his turn to make a play there. And he kind of came with great determination, uh, you know, and, and, and finished that shot. Uh, you know, that's what the big boys do in, the, in, in these special moments. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by UVA Health Systems. Danny Holson is probably the best pitcher in college baseball and has led Virginia to the best start in school history. 
Cavalier Sports Weekly sat down with the left-hander to bring you this story. The one-two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. A guy like Danny Holton comes out there and has the ability to take control of a game every time he steps on the field. Now the 2-2 pitch from Holtzen, swing and a miss, strike three. He's got a special arm unlike anything I've ever seen. 2-2 pitch to F, strike three call. Guy's just a warrior. Holtzen's ready, the 2-2, check swing, called strike three. Locates his fastball, has great off-speed stuff. Now the payoff pitch, that's a called strike three. I don't necessarily go out there and try to strike out the hitters because then it's not the right attitude to bring to when you pitch. But I just think uh, you know going after the hitters and attacking them is really important. When you have an All-American pitcher pitching on your side, uh, it, it, it helps. Uh, after my junior year, uh, I was probably like five foot eleven, and then over that summer and winter, I think I grew about three or four inches and put on some weight. So I, you know, kind of got physically stronger. And then that senior year was crazy. Um, you know, we did very well as a team, and you know, then I got the, the looks for the, for the professional teams, which was very, very cool. But I thought it was you know, really important for me to go to college, and just having the experience of going to college and having you know, the college experience, I thought it was really important. Swing and a miss, strike three, Danny Holson. I can't say enough about Danny Holson. He's the most exciting baseball player I've ever been on the field with. Is, a bulldog of a competitor and would give you the shirt off his back, more importantly. He's a great team player, he's a great leader in between the lines, and I can just go on more and more about Danny. That was unbelievable. I actually went to Omaha with one of my buddies when I was, I think, 10 or 11, and you know, I thought to myself one day that would be amazing to play there, and when we made it, it was an unbelievable experience. The Virginia men's tennis team has been ranked number one in the country all year, thanks to first year Alex Domijan. Let's check out some of Alex's highlights and a recent victory over North Carolina. Domijan is obviously, I mean, very strong, especially for his age, and just a very powerful hitter, and it's just such a powerful stroke that he puts himself in a situation that the second or third ball in the rally is just an easy ball and he can just just dominate right from the start. And he's a tall guy, which obviously helps in tennis. And he's able to hold serve pretty easy because it's a heavy, big serve. And then in the return games, he feels very, he's very solid on both sides and puts a lot of pressure on the, on the guy who's serving because you know he's going to be in the point regardless. And, and from the baseline, I mean, I'm, having, I'm struggling playing just tennis with him just because he's such a powerful hitter. And um, I mean, he's been dominating at number two, played a couple times at number one, and just absolutely crushing his opponents so far. And I think part of it comes from that the opponent might be a little bit intimidated, just because you don't really often face an opponent that's just 6'8 or 6'9, whatever tall he is. So that's, that's part of it as well. For a 19-year-old first year, he moves really well on the court. You know, his anticipation skills continue to get better. His first step gets better, and he continues to improve. So I'm really happy with Alex's development. He deserves a lot of credit for going out there in some tough situations and rising to the occasion. It looks a lot easier from, you know, the outside, but what Alex is accomplishing right now for a first year is really special, and he deserves a lot of credit. And with each match, I really do feel like he continues to develop and improve. So I'm, I'm really impressed. Definitely trying to anticipate where he's going. You know, I'm not as fast as Jeremy or Sonam, so I mean, I can't really get caught out of position too often and get away with it. So try, try to uh, just figure out the guy's tendencies and go from there. Coming up after the break. Yes, sir! Touchdown! This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. Now let's check in with women's softball, women's lacrosse, and women's tennis.
start, good finish. Um, you know, Mel did a good job. Uh, last week was her first week back at UNC, and she had she had two good outings at UNC. Um, you can see when, when she's on the mound how things settle down for us. Um, obviously, offensively, back on track, uh, being able to run, getting runners on. We didn't we didn't string things together as much as, as we were expecting to, but but we had our opportunities, so that's a good sign. The Slappers did a good job. They they've really worked hard the last the last two weeks on uh, reading defenses, uh, working on their bunning, getting things down, moving runners up, and causing causing a lot of chaos on the bases. Um, so you have to you have to appreciate Pittman and, and Cipollone today. The top of the order again does a good job for us. Um, we've been really working on the bottom half of the order, picking up the pace a little bit because um, we're getting people on, then we're getting to the bottom half, and, and kind of uh, when you're when you're playing UNC and you're playing Florida State, you know it's the good pitching with Spingola and then with Hamilton this weekend. It's going to be important that when we get those top that that lead off and the top of the order on, that the bottom half can move them up and get them in. We felt really comfort comfortable and confident when we had the ball and we were scoring when we needed to. And then, uh, of course, they hit, you know they went on the stretch of winning all the draw controls and, and really making some big plays. I think uh, it's disappointing to see that we kept making the same mistake over and over in transition defensively. Um, but I think uh, you know things that we can certainly work on in practice and hopefully clean it up here uh, and going down the stretch. So many reasons tonight was a huge game. You know, I think Virginia Tech is a much improved team. Um, you know, they're certainly worthy of a good ranking. I think that they're they're really good. But obviously, to, to get our eighth win and to get an ACC win and to beat Virginia Tech in state, I mean, for a lot of time reasons, it was uh, the perfect game for us to come out on top of. I think everybody had each other's back throughout the course of the night. Um, you know, when the ball was on the ground, you know, we seemed to go in pairs and seemed to come up with it. Uh, you know, we're really trying to focus on what are we going to do in practice tomorrow so that we can position ourselves for just one more win. So we're trying to take it a day by day, um, step by step, and I think that, that's, uh, you know, hopefully is going to serve us well down the stretch. This conference is such that you never have an easy match, but there are certain matches that you're favored and you know you really need to, to, to be the, the top dog there and get it done. And sometimes that puts more pressure, you know, on a team. These kids are handling that part of it pretty well. Next week, I think we're as good or better than both of the teams, even though they're ranked ahead of us. So maybe it'll give us some freedom to go out there and attack them and put the pressure on them even more than we did this weekend. So certainly a lot to gain from this weekend and this whole season. And I really hope you know the girls can put it all together next week and we can have one of our best weekends in a long while. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quarterback scramble. Pressure. Scramble. 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 That's it. There you go. There you go. That's it. Great habits. Great habits. Practice number 15. Great habits. Boom. You go good. Great habits. Great habits. You got to study the game and the tendencies of the other team. We're not just out here running plays for the sake of running plays. Some of you guys have improved during the spring. Some of you guys got you, you got a, you got a ways to go. But the good thing about it is now you get a chance to make the biggest development between now and coming back into the fall. Because what happens now, it's on you. Nobody's standing on you making sure that you live. Nobody's standing around you to make sure you get the play call right, get lined up. No one's standing around you making sure you do that. It's on you. And the development that you'll have between now and when you have to come back in, we'll see what you've been doing. Battle, there you go, there you go, right now. Ah! There you go. Yes! 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 That's a positive play right there. We got a chance to be a good team. We got a chance to be a good team, I'm just telling you right now. Practice with enthusiasm, practice with passion. Play the game with energy. You do all those type of things. And that's how you win games. Yes, sir! Touchdown! 
You come in with a swag. You gotta come in with a swag. You can't just walk around like, I hope we win. I wish we win. You gotta come in thinking, we're gonna win. That's what you gotta be thinking about. Everything you do, everything you say, how you act, how you react, it's gotta be based on the fact that we will win based on your individual efforts and then collectively we'll win as a team. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's how it's gonna be. That's how it has to be. Good to great. There is no other option. That's the way it's gotta be. Here we go, get in here, let's go. One, two, three. Hey, All right, here we go, here we go. Four of our best teams have home events this week, so come out and support the Cavaliers. Baseball entertains Georgetown on Tuesday and Coastal Carolina on Wednesday before hosting Duke Friday through Sunday. Our softball team has Delaware State in town for a doubleheader on Wednesday before a big weekend series against Virginia Tech. Men's tennis has Clemson on Friday and Georgia Tech on Saturday at the Snyder Courts, and our defending NCAA champion rowing team hosts Michigan State and UCLA at Lake Monticello on Saturday. We'll be back next week with those stories and more from Virginia Athletics. I'm Ben Coles. Thanks for supporting the Cavaliers. And remember, go Hoos. Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO, the Virginia Athletics Foundation, the Virginia Lottery, and by UVA Health Systems.